Island 11, and now we see that the units are now occupied, but we want to do more. In order to do more, you have to have funds in order to do more. So welcome to, again, to our first annual fundraiser that would do the following. Put in driveways, improve the landscape. Nothing deters Vincent James, nor the people in the Kukum group. His office manager, Miss Andrina Strong, she's all Lady Friday, and she works tirelessly. I have seen them both working. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you here today. And I just hope this will inspire all of you, all of us, to work as a community because that's what it takes to build anything. We are the beginning of a new village over here. Spread the word. Let everyone know what is happening in this community. And again, I want to say welcome on behalf of Rock Hill City Council, Rock Hill government, and personally myself, because this is my birthplace, Flint Hill. Welcome to this great day. Well, most of you guys already uh, have met my dad, uh, the CEO of Kogum, uh, Vincent James Sr. Um, so I don't know if there's much to say, you know. Uh, Further ado, here he is. <laughs> About Colgan, we added another name uh, to Colgan. Uh, it's called Colgan Globe. Because part of our mission is not just to cover North Carolina and South Carolina, but to be global. The Colgan is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that was founded by yours truly, Vincent James. The organization focuses on economic and community development and stabilization throughout the Carolinas. Our current community, Woodland Park, is an affordable housing community that was in need of repair. Today, all units are occupied. Our vision, our vision is to revitalize Woodland Park from an abandoned community to one that is viable and sustainable. Our mission, our mission to is, is to empower the livelihood of low income communities by improving their mind, their body, and their spirit. Now the question is how do we do that? We change their minds by improving their surroundings. If you're living in or in a community boarded up housing, Lots with debris, lots with overgrown weeds, rats, snakes. <laughs> you have a different mindset. So to start, we change the mind by improving the community, by getting rid of boarded up houses, asking the city to uh, focus on abandoned or absentee landlords to improve their properties, to improve the vacant lots. We also concentrate on the body. How do we do that? We accomplish through sound teaching techniques and highly engaging health centered programs and activities such as community outreach by giving out flyers. Individual awareness for the need to be pre-checked medically. Screen for various health care issues. Spirit, going back to, to mind, body, spirit. It has been proven. It has been proven that you have less crime in a community if it's spiritual based. How do we do that? We do that through spiritual teaching by changing and focusing on the spirit of the person. So therefore, let's call them. Again, we concentrate on the mind, body, the spirit to make a difference where some people think there is no hope, no difference. We took over this community in 2011 and now we can see that the, the units are now occupied, but we want to do more. In order to do more, you have to have funds in order to do more. So welcome to, again, to our first annual fundraiser that would do the following. Put in driveways, improve the landscape, get rid of water-soaked lots, improve some of the 
experience uses by uh, by changing the style. So this is what we plan to do with the punch. Thank you for coming, but that's the people I want to thank who helped made this possible. I see him standing over there, some Cedric McCallum, who is with Woodland Forest Bank. Thank you, Cedric, for coming. Cedric made a difference when we thought there was no difference. Cedric stepped forward to make a difference where we needed funds to last. Thank you for that. So uh, we also want to thank Ann for the comments that you made. Thank you so much. The problem with that, Ann, is now i got to think about giving Andrina a raise. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for coming. Now, if we all also want to introduce uh, our builder, which is uh, Richard Adams with Adamson, Ad Richard Adams Management Group. We're in the process of uh, getting everything done. And you see bulldozers and people out here working probably by the latter part of April. So, uh, Richard, would you like to say a few words? Uh, not really. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let's come forward. I don't ever want a hard hat. Let's come forward and we do the groundbreaking. I'm going to give my hard hat to uh, Cedric McKellar. So, we have one. Thank you, Vincent. Vincent wants me to say thank you for Eric Francis, who is handling our website and promoting our program and our annual fundraiser. So if you see a problem with the website, I'm going to give you his number. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Eric, for being here. Thank you all again for coming. Thank you, Ruth, for the, all the work that you are doing and, and you have done. So those with hard hats, let's come forward and do and Our mission, our mission to is, is to empower the livelihood of low-income people.